Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to assemble a mechanically interlocked and reversing contactor from ABB's A-Line series. I have in front of me an example of a mechanically interlocked reversing and non-reversing contactors. When contactors are mechanically paired together, only one of them can be energized at a time. A mechanical interlock ensures that the contactors do not energize at the same time, thus protecting the line from shorts and other possible hazardous outcomes. To begin, I will need two contactors, an interlock unit and connection sets for reversing contactors. The interlock unit can either be mechanical or mechanical and electrical. For demonstration purposes, I will be using the VE5-1, which is mechanical and electrical. Taking a closer look on the device, I have screw terminals for electrical connections and a plastic peg on both sides that, once engaged, prevents the other side from actuating. I can snap the contactors on to the interlock device by aligning the plastic clasps with the slit on the side of the contactors. Once both are in place, I will quickly test them by trying to manually engage both contactors at the same time. I can do this by pushing the front here to simulate the coil energizing. The other contactor should not be able to engage in the same way at the same time. If both can be engaged at the same time, recheck the installation and inspect the interlock unit for a malfunction. To make this a reversing interlock contactor, I will use the connection set here. There should be two contactors, each with a different wiring diagram to show where the connections will be made. This contactor will connect the inputs of the terminals to match so that the first terminal of one contactor will connect to the first terminal of the other contactor. The second connector will connect to the output terminals of the contactors and reverse them by connecting the first terminal to the third and the third terminal to the first. For mechanical electrical interlocks, I will need to install the appropriate jumpers to the coil terminals. For AC models, the A1 coil terminal on the first contactor can be jumped with the boxed normally closed 02 on the interlock unit. The A1 on the other contactor can then be jumped with the non-boxed normally closed 02 here on the bottom of the interlock. Next, I can wire both contactors together on the bottom with the A2 coil terminal. The DC models with the AE designation are wired similarly, but come with an auxiliary contact. The bottom of the auxiliary contact should be wired to the A3 coil terminal like so, while the top should be wired to the A2 coil terminal. The other configurations should remain the same as the AC mechanical interlock. An overload relay can be inserted on the load side of the first contactor to create a reversing starter. Mechanically interlocked contactors, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Galco.com.